We are coming up on the opening bell here on this Jobs Friday. We have been seeing a lot of selling pressure going into the open because of the stronger than expected report, particularly for the wage growth that we saw. And so um, and the implications for the Federal Reserve perhaps having a higher terminal rate as a result. So that's why we're seeing the slower open as we see uh, the opening bell here, CIBC Miracle Day and uh, NBA star Charles Oakley uh, reading that that's the taller fellow than the rest who is <laughs> ringing the opening bell here on this Friday morning. So as we look at the uh, at stocks now as they open up, we are seeing declines across the board for the major averages in the wake of that jobs report. Um, looks like is the Nasdaq open there? I'm guessing it hasn't opened quite yet. And that's why we are still seeing green being reflected there because we are definitely going to see a, a red open for the Nasdaq. Indeed, yeah, just calibrating a bit here as we get through that opening cross. And, yeah, we saw the Oak Man there up on the podium at the NYSE. I'm sure a lot of the traders down there on the floor of the exchange recognize exactly who he is from his days with the Knicks and, of course, several seasons in the NBA. But taking a look at these declines, they're going to recognize that type of reaction, too, on the good news is bad news type of environment that we're seeing here. On the economic data front, we saw some of the better um, jobs reports, or at least that 260 plus thousand jobs that came out above expectations, that immediately reacted um, or saw the major averages react. We're right now down by about nine tenths of a percent, 300 points for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Let's see if the Nasdaq Composite is calibrated here. We're going to continue to keep a close eye on that as well. The S&P 500, you're seeing that down by about 1% here out of the gate, though. But then additionally, let's take a look at some of the sector activity that we're tracking right now this morning as we're taking a look at the 11 S&P 500 sectors, not one green spot to be found as we had seen that broader dip really um, kind of permeate across sectors here. You're seeing the biggest laggard, though, right now, real estate. That's down by about 1.5% out of the gate this morning. Energy, that's even joining the negative gains party here. That's seeing uh, some catch-up on its shirt by about three-tenths of a percent. And so we'll continue to watch all of this. But again, the S&P 500 more broadly down by a little more than 1% out of the gate. A little catch-up. A little, little catch-up on the shirt, I guess. <laughs>